Hello everyone, we're here with uh, William Fitzsimmons. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Yeah. We're happy to have you here. Um, you're back on the road again, how does that feel? It, it, feels, it feels wonderful, actually. I haven't, I haven't toured, um, really toured for, it's almost been a couple of years, so... Um, yeah, it, it feels great. I actually love doing this, so I, I kind of I kind of missed it when I was home. And then all your shows in Germany, they were sold out? You try not to think about that stuff too much, because then if it's not, you don't want to feel terrible about it, you know. Um, but no, that's it's a wonderful compliment. I, I, um, I think that's great. And it's nice knowing, too, that the um, there's a different kind of energy when, when rooms are very full. There's a very um, kind of frenetic, um, it just, everyone's a little more energized or something. It's, it's cool, it creates a neat effect. Your sixth album is about to be released in February. What can we expect? I feel like it's not insanely different than, than anything I've done before in terms of like genre, you know. Uh, and I like that. I like that I didn't really care. There's as much of me as there ever has been, but the me has learned to not be such a, a songwriting dick and and only care about myself and my own like I'm angry about things and you know I'm alone um, you know I, I wanted to I wanted to try to have more empathy Maybe that's a stupid question, but why is it called lions? That's a stupid question. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not at all. It's a great question. The metaphor is, is a, it's really just about the kind of the, the two different parts that exist in people that are very clearly exemplified in, in animals, in beasts. You know, where a lion is this absolute beautiful, kind of noble, royal animal, you know. So many countries and cities and stuff use a lion as their symbol because it's very royal and very strong. Um, but the truth is, is that they're really very dangerous beasts. You know, they're, they'll, they'll eat you and your whole family, and they're totally fine with that. They have no apologies for that. Um, so anyway, so that, that was, um, that's a theme that I kind of see in, in myself and a lot of other people. Your album is uh, released through Grönland Records, which is the, the record label of Herbert Grönemeyer. Did you ever meet him? We, um, we smoke weed together. All really? Time. No. <laughs> I might get in trouble for saying that, which is awesome. No, it's all right. No, um, I, I have met Herbert, and um, he's, he's actually really cool, and he's very, he's very nice. If you had to curate a festival, who would be definitely on your lineup? I'm the headliner, obviously, right? Um, I'm also the headliner of the second stage. It'd be kind of a, a weird mix, probably. I definitely have, like, The National would be there. They're my favorite band right now. I'd bring in some dead guys that I like a lot. If it's if I can do anything with this, right? Of course. Elliot Smith and Nick Drake would be playing the small stage like when it, you know like midnight or something um bony Vera would probably be there and a lot of like the folk guys grew up on and mean a lot to me that aren't very popular it would be a whole bunch of kind of depressing <laughs> music, and but i would love it it would just be me sitting there sounds good to me yeah well there you go it'd be the two of us sitting there crying together maybe you know? and what I do. you were cast away on an island and you could take three things with you, what would that be? I mean, I would take three women <laughs> with me. <laughs> what do you think? Okay. That's the easiest question anyone ever asked me. No, I would take um, two women and another dude. Wait, what? Why would I do that? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> you might have to edit some of that out. No, don't, you know what? Don't edit any of that out. I would take Pink Moon, which is my favorite record ever. I would take a case of um, Rothaus beer, 
Pilsner und uh, bei der Hefeweizen. And I would probably, I would take my daughter, because I don't think I could be away from my daughter, even if I was on a beautiful island with beer and, and women. There's still women there, right? Was that in the list? Well, we could add that. That should be an automatic, to be honest with you. Add that to the question next time. You're on an island by yourself, also, with like 20 Mädchen. That's a good answer. And, um, well, thank you. Thank you very much for your time. That was the last question. An awesome way for us to end. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Thank you. <laughs>